Hi, this is Ray. Butternut squash and gnocchi is a perfect fall recipe. I'll leave the ingredients in the description down below, and this is how to make it. First off, with a sharp knife and a firm grip, carefully slice the butternut squash from top to bottom. Then we're going to scrape all the seeds on the inside with a spoon. Now let's place the butternut squash on a sheet pan lined with foil for easy cleanup. Brush the butternut squash with some melted butter. Let's bake this in the oven at 450 degrees for about an hour. Meanwhile, peel and quarter one large russet potato and steam until tender. Once the potato slightly cools, you're going to pass it through a potato ricer. About this time, the butternut squash should be ready to come out the oven. It should be golden brown and fork tender. Use a fork or a knife to check. Once it's cooled down a bit, you're able to touch it, grab your favorite ice cream scoop and scoop out the flesh and put it in a saucepan. With the pan on medium heat, we're going to reduce any extra liquid and then emulsify with a stick blender until smooth. Let's start to create the dough. First, measure yourself two cups of the riced potato. One cup of the butternut squash, followed by 3 4th cup Parmesan cheese, one large egg, one teaspoon of salt, and freshly grated nutmeg. With a wooden spoon, mix all the ingredients together. Add 1 and 3 4 cups of flour into the mixture, reserving 1 4 cup for dusting. Let's mix the flour into the mixture until it comes together. Once the dough starts to form, let's pour it onto a floured work table. Begin to knead the dough. Careful not to overwork the dough, as the gnocchi could become tough. Just knead it until smooth. Once your dough is nice and smooth and the right consistency, we're going to cut the dough into seven strips. Grab one of those strips, let's dust it with a little flour and start to roll it out to about a half an inch thick. Once you've carefully and lightly rolled out your strips, you're gonna cut the gnocchi about three fourth inch pieces. Now roll the gnocchi on the back of a floured fork to create the gnocchi texture. Place your rolled in gnocchis on a floured sheet pan. And we want to put this in the refrigerator for about an hour or you can also freeze for cooking at a later time. When you're ready to cook them, carefully pour the gnocchis in a pot of boiling salted water, giving them a quick stir so they don't stick to the bottom. While they're cooking, melt yourself some butter on medium-high heat until it lightly starts to brown. Once the gnocchi starts to float to the top, remove them from the water. Once the butter has browned, let's add some freshly chopped sage and cook for about 5 to 10 seconds. Let's
let's now add the gnocchis to that delicious brown butter sauce with the sage, giving it a couple of tosses, making sure every gnocchi is well coated. I like to continue to cook the gnocchi for about 30 seconds to one minute in the pan as it creates a little more texture to the outside of the gnocchi. Then add some grated Parmesan cheese. Give it a couple of more tosses in the pan, making it look all nice and fancy. And now let's plate. I like to finish this off with a little garnish of fresh sage, a little grated Parmesan cheese, and freshly grated nutmeg. This is a real fun recipe, it uses a lot of different techniques. Uh, if you like the recipe, let me know, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share, and enjoy it.